Sooty and Snow, a book about boundaries based on a true story by Nikki Rogers. There once were two chickens called Sooty and Snow who followed their people wherever they'd go. They lived in a yard that was lovely and green in a cute little hen house that was nice and clean. In their little house was all they could need fresh water, a nest box, and some chicken feed. The chooks were much loved, and so as a defense, their owners had put up a white picket fence. Soot looked through the fence pails, wanting to explore. She had all she needed, but just wanted more. The palings were close, but she squeezed her way through. Go shopping? The beach! Oh, the things she could do! But before she could fulfill her hen heart's desire, she was back in her yard and the gaps fixed with wire. They had ruined her fun, but she wasn't defeated. She scratched and she dug till a hole was completed. Sooty squirmed under the fence and went on her way. But her hole was filled up on that very same day. She couldn't dig under. She couldn't squeeze through. Flying was the next thing she would try to do. She couldn't fly high yet, but this chicken was keen. So she practiced by jumping on a trampoline. The day finally came. Sooty went for a fly, way over the fence to the bright other side. She enjoyed her adventure, so the day after that, she flew over again wearing her new sun hat. While Sooty decided to go out and roam, her feathered friend Snow was content being home. Back in the yard, Snow soaked up the warm sun. But Sooty thought she was the one having fun. That was, of course, until she heard a new sound, and her heart nearly stopped when she turned around. With a woof, 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 and a bark, 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 Black Chicken was running. She had quite a shock. She ran this way and that, but with all of the stress, she couldn't remember how to get through that fence. The chase was exhausting. She got quite a fright. His mouth full of feathers, her whole tail in one bite. The children that loved her ran to save the day. They picked up poor Sooty and chased the dog away. Sensible Snow lived without a care, while Sooty returned with her bottom left bare. Sooty the hen had a stroke of good luck, so she laid an egg with a scratch peck and cluck. The people here loved her. She was very blessed. Sooty finally realized home really was best. <laughs>